You know, I didn't just settle for being confused and just be like, well, this is what it is or this is what it is. Because when you when you put things into perspective and you think logically and it's like we all want to have this relationship with God and we all want to be rich and we all want to be famous and we all want to be it. And you, you know, we all want to have it all. And we're searching for answers with our neighbors and stuff like that. And we're, a lot of us are just settling with quotes or sayings. And it's like, wait, this has to pertain to the situation, okay? Like, this quote is a great quote. But if it doesn't apply to what it is I'm talking about, we can't, we can't insert that there. So, for, for instance, right? try to gain things and get things and we'll try to ignore our spirit we'll try to ignore the fact that it's there this world that we live in so fam is it's a 3d world you know so it's mind body soul slash spirit it's pretty much the same thing but when you when you put it into perspective you can't try to only work on your mind and achieve 
happiness or, or goals that you're trying to trying to get to be living a fulfilling life you know like I'm gonna only focus on my mind and grow my mind and, and grow my body and then I'm gonna be successful and be happy it doesn't make sense so fam because when you, when you think about any religion or even if you just think about Christ it's mind body mind body soul they say it's the same thing right so when you put it into context so fam you can't ignore your spirit when you're trying to grow you can't ignore your mind when you're trying to grow you can't ignore your body when you're trying to grow you have to have all three of them things working in unison working together and figuring out all right where can i grow my spirit some of us Some of us, we trying to elevate, we're trying to grow, we're trying to be better, which is amazing, right? And we're looking at this and we're looking at that and we're looking at this and we're looking at that and we're following this and we have to have order. So fam, you have to have solid foundations when you're growing. So let's, let's. Let's talk about the mind real quick. If you want to grow your mind in a certain area, right? Say you want to be a dentist. You're going to go to one school to get that dentist certification. You're not going to go to three different schools to get the same certification. It doesn't make sense. You're going to be wasting time and energy. What you what, realistically, what you're gonna do, you're gonna go to one school, you're gonna take that time, and you're gonna get that certification, and you're gonna get the knowledge that you need. Now, when you're working on your body, right? You work, you're working on your body, you're gonna get one trainer. Unless you really got a lot to go on, and you really got it going on, then you're gonna get 10 trainers. But the average person is gonna get one trainer, right? And that trainer is going to help your body inside with the nutrition, with the legs, with the arm. That that trainer is going to train that body to, to be in shape and, and get to the goal. Right, so fam? Now when it comes down to your spirit. When it comes down to our spirit, so fam, we're not being strategic enough. We're not being intelligent enough. We're not knowing the things that we need to know and the less you know the more you're kind of easily fooled oh look at this car is waiting behind me is he he is is he no he parked i mean mind my business but when it comes down to the spirit so fam we want to have this and have that and have this and have that and have that and then we're spiritually confused we're afraid to follow christ because of the people that follow Christ and did wrong things to us we're afraid to do this but listen so fam build your relationship with God take the time to just focus on on one spiritual aspect and then once you have that solidified aspect and solidified understanding God is going to help you right so when you think about a coach and you think about me I'm not going to come in as God and say listen I'm, I, no, I'm going to help you have as much clarity as you need so that when you are receiving messages and God is talking to you, it's not your trauma. It's not someone who manipulated you. It's not Jojo down the street who you don't even know at all. Right. So the best way to, to really build your spirit and to get into that place is to get someone that you connect with. Where does your spirit naturally connect with? Okay. Don't don't make it too difficult. Sometimes we want to make it too difficult because we are really focused on being being successful here and, and being this and, and being that. It's going to all come together naturally, so fam. You're not going to need to try that hard and, 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 and do all this. And th Listen. Take your time. There's no rush. You don't got to have to try to copy anyone's blueprint. And I said this in another video. I was like, so fam, hold on a break. I was like, so fam, 
when we, when you grow with God and you and you grow in your spirit and you grow in yourself, you're not going to need to look at anyone else's blueprint to get results. Okay? God is going to give you your own blueprint. You're going to have your own journey. You're going to have your own lessons. You're going to have your own understanding. That's why you have your own mind. See, some of us, we're we not really using our mind. We're using our eyes. We're looking and then we're copying. We're looking and then we're copying. When you're using your mind, so fam, you're looking and then you're analyzing. Like, all right, let me see. Let me do some, let me, let me look at this for myself and see what I need to see for myself. Right? And when you think about God, God is going to want you to do that. God is not going to want you to be, uh, yes, no, okay, he, he, no. God wants you to come come to him willingly. Why does God want you to come to, to, to him willingly? Because God wants you to use your mind. God wants you to heal your spirit. God wants you to, to be able to use your body. Okay? And and put it onto a spe- perspective and take your time as you're getting there. Some of us, we're, we're distracted by the distractions. And when I say distractions, the likes, the views, the feeling of, of someone liking you. The thought of being famous because it's, it's been pushed so much lately. Everybody wants to be famous. Okay. All right. That's the goal. But you got to ask yourself, well, why do I even want to be famous? And just make sure it's making sense. Okay? Some of us is we 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 got lost up in the sauce and we just we just wasting time. When you we if you if you put on the shirt, right? And it got a stain on the shirt, right? But you be like, All right, I'm gonna ignore the stain on my shirt and I'm gonna wear this shirt. Right, I'm gonna wear this shirt. And you go out in the street and you see that everybody see the stain. Everybody may not say nothing. They're gonna just be like, okay, she got a stain on her shirt. Nobody gonna say that. They're gonna let you have your stain on your shirt. Now, although you ignoring the stain, so fam, it's still there. You may you may be able to shift angles, fold it, and do what you want to do. But baby, if you got a stain on your shirt. It's still there. Some of us, we want to ignore the spirit. It's still there. Some of us, we want to ignore our mind. It's still there. Some of us, we want to ignore some truths. It's still there. So, as you're growing, so fam, and you're healing, and you're elevating, Let's not ignore those things that's on our shirts. Let's let's do what we need to do. Okay? So we can get what we got to get. And we can learn what it is we need to learn. And we can heal how we got to heal. And we can just be the best version of ourselves. I hear it a lot. They be like, be you. Be you. That is, that is great advice, so fam, to be you. But a lot of us don't even know who we are anymore. A lot of us don't even know what we like anymore. A lot of us have become so conditioned to our program that we don't know the difference. Like, all right, is this? You know, we have a lot of confusion in our mind. And when you have a lot of confusion in your mind, it's, it's common, it's, it's, it's normal for us to not know which way to go, know which way to choose. There's so many options. So, take your time while you're choosing. Because this is a, a, a time that we are living in, okay? We have more than we ask for. And we don't even know. We, 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 we don't. We, we be like, all right, should I get the pepperonis, the sausage, the pepperoni and the sausage? What's the difference, you know? So, 
speak to who you got to speak to, so fam. Don't feel like you're alone. Oftentimes, so fam, we be feeling like we so alone. We feel like this. This, this is another topic, so fam. But let me tell you this. I gotta get this top T. I've been in this place, getting it, getting this. Um, well, let me wrap it up. Let me wrap it up. Choose wisely and get the help you need. Talk to people that have been through some things, things. And you know they've been through some things, things, because they have some results. Some of us, we looking at a car. So if a car is not a result, it's a vehicle. You can get a vehicle anywhere, okay? When you want to look at somebody with some results, look at someone who just be looking happy because they about to go get them a little little bagel, egg and cheese, and a little tea. Simple. If I have to spend a million dollars on an item to feel happy, are you happy? I had to go. I had to go get this item to get happy. Woo! T -t Come on, we gotta look at the core of things. We gotta look at the the true meaning of things and not ignore it because of likes and views and subscribers too. We can throw that out there. But um, I'm gonna keep this short and brief. Even though it's been meaty and greedy. If you ever want to book a session with me, my details are always below. When you have these great conversations with people that are like-minded like you, they spark ideas within yourself. It's like sometimes you need someone to, to light your flame. You know, like the your battery in the car died, so you need someone to come give you a spark. Okay? That's what a conversation is. A conversation is going to spark what it needs to spark. Let me go ahead and give me this bagel and get up on my day. So, fam, have a great day. All right, check out Amelia Online Academy for a free guide. The free guide is available for you to see where in your life you may need some healing. Okay? You need to love yourself a little more. All right, so, fam, I'm out. Amelia, dear here. I'll see you guys at the next one.